News 46 is brought to you by Fees Embroidery and Garment Printing, specializing in custom and personalized decoration of gifts, garments, and more. Call 775-727-9444. is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, police make an arrest of an alleged sexual predator. New lighting is installed in Patrick Park. And the Holiday Task Force is getting ready for their Easter picnic. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Zach Reinert. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Wednesday, April 12th, 2017. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Zach Reinert for News 46. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is cracking down on sexual predators. They conducted an arrest on a man in his late 20s that allegedly attempted to meet with a girl he believed to be 15 years old. 29-year-old Anthony James Craighead, or AJ, has been arrested and charged with luring a child through the use of a computer system or network for sexual conduct. According to the Nye County Sheriff's Office press release, they have been conducting ongoing covert investigations relating to adults attempting to solicit sex from underage children. On April 8th, they say that Craighead contacted an individual on Facebook that he believed to be a 15-year-old juvenile female. Email. During that conversation, Craighead encouraged this individual to sneak out of the house and indicated that he wanted to have sexual relations with this child, according to the police. They also said that he discussed very specific sexual activity that he wanted to engage in with her. During these conversations, according to police, Craighead even went so far as to acknowledge the criminal nature of his desires, advising the individual that he would go to jail because of her age and enticed her not to have contact with law enforcement. Police say Craighead indicated that he wanted to meet this person and pick her up to conduct sexual acts with her in his truck on April 11th. Arrangements were made for him to supposedly meet the 15-year-old when he left work at the AT&T store on Frontage Road on April 11th at approximately 8 p.m. He agreed to bring a condom at that time to avoid getting this individual pregnant. Police officers placed a sheriff's office employee as a decoy for the 15-year-old girl in the area. Officers parked their vehicle near the prearranged location. Craighead has been arrested without incident. Police say that Craighead did not deny that he thought that it was a child that he was coming to meet. However, he said that despite the conversations he had with her, his actual intention was to help the child. He also said he wasn't going to follow through on anything that he said he wanted to do. He's been booked into the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center on a bail amount of $5,000. AJ is a Prump by High School graduate whose popular father was a coach and math teacher who passed away approximately three years ago and left him and his mother behind. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Well, the fire extinguisher on Nye County School District Bus 22E, which works on the Mesquite Blag route, was accidentally set off when bumped this afternoon. Students and driver have been evacuated, emergency services have been notified, and district officials are on site right now. The driver acted responsibly and all students are safe. Some students have been picked up from the site by their parent or legal guardian. Remaining students have been transferred to a different bus to be transported per their usual route. An individual who kept calling himself Jesus was arrested after he allegedly attacked his mother and sister. Edward Snook has been taken into custody by the Nye County Sheriff's Office for kidnapping, false imprisonment, domestic battery, resisting a public officer at the location of 2081 Red Rock Drive in Pahrump. According to the Nye County Sheriff's Office declaration of arrest, police were dispatched to a domestic battery in progress at a home on Red Rock. The dispute was allegedly between a mother, her son, and her daughter. The son, according to police, struck both the mother and the daughter and then barricaded himself in a neighbor's 
Cruiser's vehicle. Upon arrival to the residence, several people were gathered around the black vehicle, according to police, with all doors shut and a man inside the passenger seat. The witnesses identified the male as Edward Snook. Police asked Snook to get out of the vehicle at least three times. Every time that they ordered him out, he said he was Jesus Christ and he would not come out saying that they would have to shoot him and that he also told police that they were weak and he's not getting out. Police were eventually able to get Snook out of the vehicle, although he slammed his feet into the floorboard, locked his knees, and also grabbed the steering wheel in what police are calling a white-knuckled fist. They pried him from the vehicle and took him into custody. According to the sister and the mother, Edward was only allowed to stay as a guest in the trailer next to the property. She said that on this day, he became agitated and started shouting that he was Jesus Christ and other statements that also scared her. She attempted to run to the front door to get away from him. He rushed into the house after her, shoving her with his open hand in the chest and trapped her down on the couch. He also would not allow his mother to go to the bathroom and telling her that he needed to heal her. Edward's mother called for help and his sister came to the rescue. That is when he allegedly left the house and then barricaded himself inside the vehicle. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. All right, we'll have more of your local news after the break.